it's Sandy Parker and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Back in December, one of my viewers, Heidi, said, I really have trouble with these um, disposable tape runners and I wonder if you would do a video comparing them. Well, you know, I go a little crazy when I do a comparison and in the end we have 15 different brands, some that are the same within a brand, but I'm only going to really test the 15 out. I will go into detail a little bit about the other ones, though. And let me tell you a little bit about um, how I'm going to test each one. I thought what I would do is show you thin paper to thin paper, thin paper to 65 pound paper. Thin paper would be like copier paper then 65 pound paper to 90 pound paper and 90 pound to 110. I'm going to adhere these to each other so we can decide if they work sticking one to the other or not. So let me go into each of the brands and I'll tell you a little about each one. Before I go into these I do want to tell you as always I put all the information below. When I do a, a something like this I sometimes run out of space and if I do it will be on my blog but it's always down below. If it's not I'll direct you, you know, it'll take you right to the link but I should be able to do all 15 because I did 40 wet glues but I just thought I'd forewarn you that it's always down below every video I do I try to capture as much information as I can in the information below it's especially important for my hearing impaired viewers because our um, the, the closed captioning for YouTube can be a little iffy so I just want to make sure I went over that with you so now I'm going to go into each one individually and then afterwards I'll we'll test them this is Elmer's craft bond it's a tape render that's permanent it's refillable. It, you get 8 meters, which is 26.25 feet. At Michael's, I found it for $3.99, and I am not giving you with a coupon. I'm just telling you what their price is. And two refills were $7 at Amazon. Here is what the refills look like. They come like this, and that's the package for Elmer's. Once I, once I do that, I'm going to take the little label off and stick it aside so that I can go on to the next one and not be so confused. Uh, this is Plus Glue Tape Runner. Its uh, number is TG610BC. It's refillable. It's got 22 meters, and I found it for $3.78 at Amazon. I'm not going to tell you anything about them as far as whether they work or not until I go over all of these together. And Nicole, it's from AC Moore, it's permanent, it's refillable. You get a three pack for $8.99, it's 7.6 yards in each roll. The Duck Double Sided Adhesive, it's a four pack, 7.1 yards each, it's 9.69, uh, excuse me, it's $9.69 at Amazon and $14.99 at Joann's. The reason I put Joann's in there is, you know, if you have a 50% off coupon, then obviously it makes it a lot cheaper, but I threw that in. It is for a four pack of these. Uh, this is called Sticky Thumb. It's a permanent adhesive. You get 26 feet and it's at Tuesday morning for $1.49. So this is very inexpensive. But if it doesn't work, it's not worth anything, right? Uh, Ad Tech Permanent Glue. This is 8.75 yards or, no, it's 8.75 and it's $2.77 at Amazon Prime. Uh, I'm sorry I'm kind of stumbling over my words, but I really want to do this as quickly as possible because I know you don't want to spend hours here. Tombow Mono Permanent Adhesive, 39.33 feet. It's refillable. At Amazon, it's $3.89. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this. It also... Uh, the refills, sorry, come in a three pack of for six seventy four at Amazon, and there are twelve meters in each one or thirty nine point three three feet. The reason I'm telling you this is I was told by someone that the Stampin' Up refill, which I think they are they're four fifty. I should know that because I wrote it down. They're four fifty each. I was told that they fit into this Tombow um, adhesive case. So let me do that before I go any further because you know I'll forget if I don't. Looks like it fits to me. So if you're in the market for something for to use your um, 
well, can't get it back out, but I got it in. Um, if you're looking for something that will work with your um, refills from Snail, from Stampin' Up, apparently, this is the answer to that. That's Tombow. And I'm going to put my Snail refill out of the way. The Stampin' Up Snail is permanent. It's 13.1 yards or 12 meters. It's seven dollars for the case and one and you know the insert and a refill is four dollars and fifty cents. So that's stamp it up. Going the next one. The next one is going to be Tombow the Craft Collection. It's permanent. It's refillable. It's uh, 40 feet and it's $7.99 at scrapbook.com. This one is really handy, I mean hefty in your hand. <laughs> handy or hefty in your hand. Anyway, it's, um, it's substantial in your hand compared to the other ones. So I'm just throwing that out to you. I like to make sure I cover everything. I'm running out of space. Okay, this is Key by Hampton Arts. It's from AC Moore, 16.25 feet and it's permanent and acid free. Recollections from Michaels has a three pack. It's $8.99. It's permanent. You get uh, in the three pack, you get one permanent, one permanent dot, and one repositionable. So if you're looking for a, that kind of variety, um, then you might be interested in the recollections one. Again, that information will be below, so you don't have to be writing all this down. This is uh, called Scrapbook Adhesive. Easy E Runner makes it. And uh, it's permanent, 33 feet, $5.39 at walmart.com. Run out of space. Paper Studio, there's a three pack, and there are three different colors. I'm only putting two out. The reason I did that is so you'd know. One of them is a tab, one of them is a strip, and one of them is dots. Each one is 16.4 feet each, and at Hobby Lobby, they were $7.99 for a three pack without a coupon and Hobby Lobby is the makers uh, paper studio. I did try to get the home brand of every one of the big um, chain stores as you saw I had AC Moore, Michaels and now um, um, Hobby Lobby so I just want to make sure you knew that that I covered all of the big ones. There's that one and the only one I'm, I'm going to use one that's in strips because that's the closest to the other ones and I want to make sure that I'm not comparing apples to oranges here. Then the Crafters Tape uh, Permanent Glue Runner. Oh, hold on. I have, this is a big one. Um, Doris makes this, yeah, I gave you the number, then 2445-97BV double-sided tape runner. It comes in a pack of six. Amazon Prime is $7.33. It's permanent, it's refillable, and I said um, it comes, it's 315 inches or 26.25 feet each of these. So that is, oh no, one more. Then we have the ones, I'm going to slide these over. I'm not even going to try and pronounce this. Um, you know, this is the one that Jennifer McGuire loves. This is the one she loves. At Amazon, it's five dollars and thirty-two cents. It's thirty-six meters. It's a dot liner, and it's um, it, it comes in a variety of sizes. This is the three pack that's sixteen meters each, and it's seven dollars and forty-one cents. And I'm pretty sure that was at Amazon as well. And I'm sorry, I, I didn't write that down. I'm sure it was like Amazon Prime. Then we have what I referred to as the crickets. <laughs> Thought you'd get a kick out of me flipping that over, and there they are. Um, they're eight meters, and AliExpress sells two of them for two dollars and five cents. And um, they call them the petite. There's the big one. There are the petites. So I'm um, not going to test the petites or the middle size, just the big one, because um, we all know, you know, if you test one, you've tested them all, basically. Okay. Then what I want to do is I want to put down my notes. Um, I'm trying to do this with as quickly as possible, and I'm going to try and make it as easy for you to understand as possible as I go. This is um, my 65 pound paper. This is my 90 pound paper. 
I got more of that. And then here's my recollections. It's 110 pound and I did it in black so it would be different than the rest. And then I have this big stack of um, just thin paper. Okay, here's our Elmer's and we want to see if it comes out easily and if it sticks well. It um, had a little bit of gumming at the beginning and this is considered um, thin paper to thin paper. This is thin paper to 65 pound paper and I'm going to try and do the exact same amount on all, you know, on both of them and I'm, I'm going to put the plain side to it. And then the next one is 65 pound paper which is the one we just did to 90 pound paper and I'm not going to pull anything apart until I finish the the row. So I'm going to do it like this. This is the only time I'm going to be doing this as far as ripping them apart. I figure it would be easy to know one. Okay, there's the information about Elmer's. This is thin paper to thin paper. You can still rip it apart. It's not easy to rip apart but I was able to do it um, and I think it was nice for repositioning um, I thought it stuck really well so for thin paper to thin paper it does it does good I think then for the thin paper to the 65 pound paper it really sticks well, but I pulled it apart easily, which is, or not easily, but I pulled it apart, so that's nice, too. Then 65 to 90 pound, I'm going to get a workout doing this. It does, it tore the paper on that one, but you would expect that because I'm trying to rip apart really thick papers, and it does pull the 90 pound apart, so I, I still think that it did a good job. And then lastly, this is 90 pound paper to 110 pound. Now this is the only one that I found that it really didn't do a terrific job with. I would say that the 90 to 110 not not good. Our next is going to be the plus and it is um okay, here's thin to thin. I have that little push. Let me see if I can get this open. Oh, oh, that's how you pull it out. Never mind. Okay, I confused myself with that one. Hard to believe. This comes out really, really nice. Okay, then next is the thin to the 65. Whoops, upside down, of course. Pull that down a little bit. Then the 90 to 110. I skipped a, sp a spot. That's those two. And then this is the 65 to 90. So far, I really like the way this one comes out the best. Okay. So that's those. So let's see how this pulls apart. Again, this is the plus and it's three dollars and seventy eight cents for two twenty two meters. Wow, that doesn't it did not stick very well at all. It's permanent. I don't know. Hold on. I really loved it, but uh it didn't really stick on the thin. Let's make sure it's really well adhered. Same thing. It just pulls apart. Oh, I'm bummed by this because I really liked it. 65 to 90. Making sure it's really well adhered. Same thing. It just, it, it acts like it's um, one that's repositionable, but it does not say that on here. 
I mean, it, 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 when I put it back together, everything stays stuck, but I don't know. Will it stay attached in the mail? Let's go to the very last one, 90, 90 to 110. Same thing. It does, I mean, it adheres, but um, I don't know. I'm going to say no across the board on this. Although I did like playing with it, I I don't think it really is, you know, it. I don't think it did that great of a job. All right, our next brand is Duck. And here's my thin to thin. I did get recommendations on some of these. This is those, it has those little tabs that um, it comes apart, you know, by tab, little teeny tabs. That's all I can explain it. They're tabs. Put that one, that's thin to thin. Then, whoop, on the lap, 65. Thin to 65, that's that one. to 90 and 90 to 110. I'm trying to put the exact same amount on maybe an inch line and two different lines. So then here is the thin paper to thin paper. It stuck pretty well but um, it did come wet apart pretty easily. Thin to 65. Same thing. It adheres, but it pulls apart pretty easily. I don't want it to pull apart that easily. I don't know about you guys, but I think that you can make the decision too for yourself. 65 to 90. Now we're talking. This is what I'm looking for. It really adhered on the one end of that. I mean, really stuck down. So the 65 to 90, super good job. Let's see what it does, 90 to 110. Same thing, it's ripping the paper. That's really, when you're talking a strong adhesive, that's what you want. You, I mean, I, you want it to be movable if you can, but um, you know, if you can't, that's what you do want it to rip like that. So um, I think it does better with the, um, the thicker papers. This next one is the Sticky Thumb from Tuesday Morning. I think that might be their brand. I might be lying, but it says, uh, oh, by Lifestyle Crafts. I made that up. And all of these are permanent. Now, this one um, was a little bit gummy at the end, but, you know, can't hold that against it. This is thin paper to thin paper. This is still sticking at the end. I don't love it when paper does that. This is thin to 65. This is 65 to 90. Oh, and I just left a big gumball right there that I don't love. And then last but not least, we have our 90. Go all the way to the end on it. 90 to 110. Okay, so that's our sticky, sticky thumb. Looks like this. It's a green one. Okay, thin paper to thin paper. Oh, that's really sticky. I'm loving that. Yeah, that did a nice job on that thin paper. Thin to 65. Oh, even better. Look how it rips the paper. Gotta love that. 65 to 90. Tears the paper. And 90 to 110. Nice job. Cross the board, this sticky thumb. Okay, I don't like the fact that it leaves a little bit of gum, but uh, the fact that it sticks that well, I mean, it, it does a nice job. Our next one is going to be the Adtech Permanent Runner. It's all, they, I think all of these are permanent. 
If they're not, I'll tell you. Thin paper. Ooh. It's gummy in the end. This is very gummy. It leaves it rolls past where you stop and leaves more of a trail. Thin paper to thin paper. Thin paper to 65 pound paper. Here, I want to make sure you see this. See that? I'll do it again. See how it pulls even more? That, I'm not a fan of that. Didn't make me happy. 65 pound to 90 pound. And this is 90 to 110. Okay. Whoops. Thin paper to thin paper. Tore it perfectly. That's good. Thin to 65 pound. Tore that. That's good too. 65 to 90. This is really strong glue. I mean, it's doing a nice job. I didn't like that it comes out past where it should, but I did. I mean, it's very strong adhesive. The next one is our Tombow, and it is also permanent. And here's our papers. That. I really like how this comes out of the uh, of the dispenser. It, it's a, a nice smooth process. That's that one. That's the thin to thin. This is thin to 65 pounds. 65 to 90. And 90 to 110. I did get recommendations for this from uh, people from Split Coast Stampers. I asked them you know, what they thought as far as what they recommended. I got, that's really nice and strong. Love it. So far, I like how this comes out the best. And I love how it sticks to the paper and tears it on the thinner. Oh, it does a nice job. So far, that's my favorite. Everything worked good on that one. So next we're going to do the one that's called N by Nicole from AC Moore. This is the one that's a three pack for $8.99. Thin paper to thin paper. And then next is, got it upside down. Thin paper to 65 pound. Kind of that one is kind of gummy. It comes out. I mean, it kind of leaves a trail when it comes out. Next is 65 pounds to 90 pounds. And last but not least. 90 to 110. This is a struggle to get it out, I'll be honest with you. It's, it, it doesn't come out like you would hope it would, and it kind of leaves a trail behind when it's done. Okay, so let's put the cap back on it. The thin to thin, it does a pretty good job. I mean, that stuck pretty well. I like that. The thin to 65, same thing. Nice job. Really, look at that, how sticky and that comes off. You're not going to get it back off, that's for sure. It's, maybe I didn't push that as hard. It's not as uh, sticky on the 65 to 90, but let's see what the 90 to 110 does. It's nice. I think I just didn't, oh, maybe I, I, I glued together the wrong side on this one. Let me glue the other side because I glued the part that had the um, raised flowers on it. And I should not have done that because I didn't do that with the rest. So let me do it with clean side to clean side. Yep. It's not coming apart. This is nice. It does have a little bit of um, 
when it comes out, it comes out a little bit weird, um, but other than that, I like it. Uh, this is a this is a real, really pretty decent. It's not as good as Tombow, but I, I like it. The next one is going to be this snail. I had to um, put my snail in the Tombow case because my case was old and I cracked it accidentally while doing this video. What else is new? So you put it in the Tombow. So now we'll be able to see if that really does work. Cut the thin to thin. This is the thin to the 65. This is 65 to 90. And 90 to 110. So now we'll see how the snail measures up from stamping up to our other ones. So this is the thin to thin. Well, it ripped it, but it did come apart pretty easily. Let's see how the thin to 65 works out. Let's tore the paper off. 65 to 90. Nice job. And 90 to 110. 90 to 110 did not stick that well. I would say of all of them, that one is a fail. And that's the one if we're putting a card together, you're going to want it to really stay. Let me see if I can stick it down better. Nope. I'm going to try it one more time because I don't like anybody to think I didn't try hard, especially with a product that says, well, loved is the snail. Try it one more time. Well, it did stick a little bit better that time. I still don't think that the 90 to 110 pound is as good as I'd want it to be. This is Key by Hampton Arts. These are only a dollar from AC Moore. Thin to thin. Then here's our... I lost my other piece of thin for that one. It does come out gummy at the end. This isn't as clean coming out as the other ones. 65 to 90. I don't like the way it comes out of the container, I'll be honest with you. It just seems like it's work to get it out. I hope that makes sense. I don't like it when I say things and they don't really make sense. It's coming out more gummy as I go. I don't know if you can see that. But it's not pretty. Try that one. Okay. So this is Key by Hampton Arts, and it's a dollar. Oh, it's really nice. That was really nice, strong adhesive. Really surprising. Nice job. You, I mean, you really have to kill yourself to pull these apart. Same with that one. And last but not least, 90 to 110 pounds. Nice job. All of those are, it, it it's gummy and it doesn't come out really well, but it uh, it does a nice job with everything else. So our next one is going to be the Craft Collection Tombow Stamp Runner Dot Adhesive, and I'm pretty sure it's permanent as well. Yep, it's refillable. It comes with 40 feet. It's $7.99 at Scrapbook.com, and I think it was $15 uh, for. Uh, at Prime or Amazon Prime and it came with one refill and this is really of all of them so far this is the one that's the sturdiest in my hand so we're gonna go first to I lost my big piece of paper here the the thin paper to thin paper and again this is a dot adhesive so it's got teeny tiny you probably can't see it uh, you'll see it on something else maybe um, it's got little teeny tiny dots and then our next one would be the thin paper to 65 pounds. Then next is 65 to 90. And last.
lastly, 90 to 110. Oops, got to miss the paper there. Wasn't the way to do it, huh? Okay. So, we're going to go back through. This is just our thin piece of paper. That, that was like a little bit of nothing. Let me do it again. Mm, not, not really holding up well. It would be great to be able to reposition, but I mean, this doesn't really stick at all. Let me see if I can try a little. Nope. Not really. 65 to 90. That one stuck a little bit better. Maybe with these, you need to have thicker paper. Um, it did stick a little bit better with the 65 to 90. And then let's try 90 to 110. Not really. I mean, honestly, if you can pull it apart that easily, if I can pull it apart that easily, that's pretty easy. And I actually put three strips. I don't know if you can see those strips, but I put three pretty long strips there, and they didn't seem to stay very well on there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one across the board a fail because it just didn't seem to do anything I wanted it to. Next one up is Recollections. This one is a Michaels brand. And um, this is a permanent, oops, I've got to get my paper out of the way here. And you get a three pack that's $8.99. Um, I I'm using the one that's permanent. You get a permanent, a permanent dot, and a repositionable. But I wanted to use the permanent because that's what my other ones were. So that's what I'm shooting for. And this is our thin paper. Oh, upside down. Naturally. This looks, I mean, it looks nice. It came out really nice. You know how sometimes when you, when it comes out, it's, gummy or it kind of sticks to the it it comes out pretty nice just saying this is a thin to 65 65 to 90 and I got it stuck to my hand now beautiful and 90 to 110 I'm making sure they're well adhered to each other Okay, let's see how it works. That's a nice stick. That was a good stick. See, it even tore uh, on the lightest paper. Let's see how this one does. Same thing. It has a nice st stick and it ripped the paper. I think if it rips the paper, that's kind of a good sign on lighter weight paper especially. Now, it didn't hold as well on this one. Maybe I didn't attach it as well as I did the others. I would say it doesn't do that well on the 65 to 90. Now, let's look at the 90 to 110. Nope. It does really good on the thin papers, but not well on the thicker papers. Next up is, um, it's called Scrapbook Adhesive. Easy Runner. Let's see how easy it is. Now, this one I've had a while, so I can't make any guarantees about whether it's going to work well or not. It does come in those little wee, um, I don't know if you can see those, those teeny tiny little um, lines, little pieces. Then the next one is going to be our thin paper connected to our 65 pound. This one of all of them is the most awkward in my hand from the way it's made. You see how um, chunky it is? I'm trying to find a different way to hold it to make it more uh, ergonomically correct. So far I haven't figured it out yet. This is 65 to 90. Oh you can really see that. See those little lines? Now you can see the little tabs. And so what happens is when your paper come, when your little pieces come off, they actually are coming off in these little thin pieces. I'm trying to pull another one off. Anyway, um, that's what it looks like. You can, if you can see those little pieces. 
65 to 90. Probably can see it really good on this. Do I have my upside down? Still saying it's very awkward to hold. And this is the 90 to 110. And I don't know if you've seen this, but I am trying to squeeze each one as I go. <laughs> you should see my drawer of <laughs> adhesive. I've got this huge drawer now of all these tape runners. Uh, okay, that uh, didn't really stick that well, did it? And this is this is the permanent, not the one that is supposed to be repositionable. This is supposed to be the permanent one. And actually, you can see those little tabs individually now because they're all coming up. Okay, let's try the thin to 65. Well, it stuck better than the thin paper, but I'm not saying it was any great feat. It stuck better that time. Maybe I didn't have it pushed hard enough. All right, well, try this. Making sure I have it really well adhered. Oh, perfect. Good one. Okay, I would say on this one that the thin paper is not something you'd want to use this for. And the next level up is iffy, but the top two are definitely nice. I really liked um, the, the thicker papers with this scrapbook adhesive. Okay, next up is the Paper Studio. That is the brand that is from Hobby Lobby, and they come in three packs. That was all stuck to my three packs, one that's dot, one that's strips, and one that's tabs. This one is strips. I wrote it on there so I'd remember when I did it. And this is the thin paper. And now you can see those little tabs like I was talking about before. Can you see those little white tabs? They'll rip up. Okay. I swear I've been trying to do the exact same squeeze process with all of them. This is thin paper connected to 65 pound paper. And next to 65 to 90. I do like the way these little tabs come out. I just hope that they stick really well. Because here's the thing. When I do a card, I want to make sure after the initial, like let's say you laid, the, laid this initial down. If I lay it down and I didn't stick it, I want to be able to pull it up. But once I stick it down, I mean once I lay it into the adhesive and push so that this is now the finished card, I expect that to have to really tear to pull apart because otherwise it's going to come apart, right? That's what I thought anyway. So let's go with this one. This is our thin paper. Same with the other tab. It just kind of pulls apart on thin paper. This is the 65 pound paper. Oh, this is doing better. It uh, that's better on the on the 65 pound. Let's see the 90. Perfect. See these tabs do better on thick paper. I bet you on this one I'll be able to take it off either. Nope. It's, it tore the paper you can't see, but I, I can tell that I hadn't done a good job of adhering it because it I think it would have ripped the paper if I hadn't. Let me do the other side because I just want to show you. I didn't think that I had a, um, the right amount of tape on it. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, right? If it's not if, the, if it pulls up right now, then we'll know I'm wrong. See? That's what I thought I did wrong. I didn't think I had enough adhesive in the right place. So, um, in this paper studio, in the, in the tabs, the lightest paper, the thin paper, did not do well. But the paper, everything else, I think, did, did fine. So then we go on to Darius. Some paper studio stuck there. This is the Darice ta tape runner, and there's the info on it. Going backwards, I gotta put my papers over. This is my thin. Ooh, stuck to me. Okay, right away, see that little string? I'm not a fan of those. 
and then sometimes you have to kind of um, spin your wheel. If you ever have that happen where your your tape just doesn't seem to, this is the thin with the 65. Let's see if it happens again. If you ever have it happen where your paper or your tape gets to the point where it balls up, you might have to advance your ball, your little roller thing, a little bit, and then you'll be able to get more adhesive out of it. But that sometimes happens. Now it's doing really well. I don't know what, what my problem was right there at the beginning, but we'll know soon enough. That was 65 to 90, and this is 90 to 110. So the Dauris thin paper ripped. Nice job. Here's my information on the Dauris. I got it stuck there. The thin and the 65 pound paper. Ooh, nice ripped right in half. Perfect. Just what we wanted. See how that rips right off there? That's that's what I want. I want my card to have to rip apart in order for my adhesive to come off. Perfect. So the Doris did great on all four. Last one. <laughs> I don't even want it. I don't even want to say it. I can't. I know that I won't be able to say the name right. So I'm just going to lay it down and uh, we'll just go with this is the kind that Jennifer McGuire recommends. That's how I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call it that. I'm not gonna tell you the name of it because that will be me saying a name that I know I can't say properly. I don't want to get those wrong. Okay. I do like the way this holds in my hand, just for the record. And I have used this. This has got little dots. If you can see those little dots in there, I don't know if you can or not. And that's my thin paper. This is my thin paper. Come on. To my 65 pound paper. Then my 65 to my 90. And last but not least, my 90 to 110. I'm not sure I really do a nice job of hearing that. I don't know if I did a good job on that one. I'll just rub them all. Okay. So this is our last one. I know you thought it would go on forever. Well, that, that was a big bunch of... I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be repositionable, but um, when you look at these online, some of them say a different word beside long. I don't know the difference, but um, mine says long on it. I just want to make sure I tell you that. And then maybe hers says the other word on it. I don't remember the other word. This is a 65 pound. Nice. Does a great job on 65. 65 to 90. Also great. 90 to 110. Terrific. So the ones on the right I like the best. That was the Doris and the Tombow. But I wanted to try these three one more time. This is the Key, the N by Nicole, and the Sticky Thumb. And I'm going to try them one more time so you can see the problems I had with them. So that if they are an issue or not an issue for you. And um, it had to do with the way they came out of the runner. Okay. Here is the problem I had with this one. Do you see the gummy sticky at the end? There. That's why I would not choose this one. It does a good job of gluing, but if you're going to buy glue, you don't really want to have that problem with it, like, you know, balling and pulling at the end. So that's my issue with that one. Then the end by Nicole, same exact problem. See it? Okay. 
and then my sticky thumb. I mean, obviously these work really well. I wouldn't, I wouldn't let it stop you from buying them because they do work okay. It's just that, uh, do you want one that does that or not? It really is up to you. Last but not least, and this is my sticky thumb that you get at Tuesday morning, or at least that's where I got it. And let's see why I didn't like it. That one did really good. I don't know what I had a problem with. Maybe it was the beginning of the roll. So let me tear those off. Okay. So let me do the other two, see if there's any difference. All right. In order of ease of use, the Tombow Mono Permanent Adhesive easiest to use. I just want to make sure I do this one. I'm going to do it on another piece of paper just because I already forgot which one was harder to pull than the other one. Okay. The second easiest is the sticky thumb that I got at Tuesday morning. And the least easiest to pull is the Doris. Now, um, they are all, they worked really great on all the papers. So these are my top picks. My number one is Tombow Mono Adhesive. My number two is the Sticky Thumb. And my number three is the Doris. These will be what we'll call honorable mention. That will be the key and the end by Nicole. I forgot that I had one more that was uh, good on all papers, and that was the AdTech Permanent Bond. And it had an issue when I pulled it before, and again, it's that same gummy problem that I had with these two. So I will make that in my honorable mention category. So these are my three that are the ones that are my top picks and then these are my honorable mention ones. I'm putting this on this so when I use these I can make sure I remember that these are the ones I liked. I hope that this helped you and uh, gave you an idea of which ones of these adhesives will work best for you and on which types of papers. I always make these really long, but it's because I really want to make sure that I cover every kind of paper. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it once and do it right, hopefully, so that I cover as much information as possible. I really hope you got a lot out of it, and if you have any more videos on products that you'd like to see, please let me know. I'd love a thumbs up, and if you'd subscribe, and please tell one friend about me on social media. I love that. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.